In this video, I'm going to talk about how to shoot at car events, car show events. What's going on YouTube? My name is Mo and I'm a car photographer from Bahrain. If it's your first time around my channel, you'd like to learn all about car photography, then go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss out on all the cool stuff that I create every week. So a lot of you have been asking me about how to photograph in car show events and I really don't know how to answer that. So today I decided to attend the BMW car show event. However, I ended up shooting video but I shot a couple of, well, more than a couple of photos. You see, the way I see car show events, thank you phone. All right, so the way I see car show events is a way or a platform in which I can get to know people, get to know people with awesome cars that I'd like to shoot. So I attend events, I scout for cars, and then I make contact. Once you make contact, then you can schedule for a shoot and then you know, you can stage the car the way you like it. You can do whatever you want later on with the car. Of course, that's subject to that the owners would agree you shooting the car. Thank you, Vaughn. However, I snapped a couple of shots for you. Now let's start with what would a bad photo look like. And let's start with this one over here. So now that's what you usually find in car events, right? So you have a wide angle lens and then you snap a photo. Now it wouldn't be bad, but it's not like staging a car, right? So you've got people around the car and you have other cars around it in, you know, subjects like trees and stuff. Thank you phone again. So there are a lot of distractions around the car that you'd like to shoot. And uh, yeah, so the way I see that happening is instead of just shooting at a wide lens, then you would like to extend the focal length. So you try to, okay, this is going down the drain, hang on. So instead of just using a wide lens and shooting everything around the car with the car and the people and the trees and everything else, I just extended the focal length. So instead of a focal length of 24, I shot this at 47. Yes, there are still cars around the car that I would like to shoot. However, I lessened the distraction and the focus now is on the car. The rest is in Photoshop, whether you want to darken the surrounding and then apply local adjustments and so on forth. I've also shot a few detail shots like uh, the BMW rim over here and then the M2, like a close-up shot on the detail shot. Things like that would work in a car show event. All right, so you might be asking, all right, you've got like a front-facing shot. What about a side shot? And this is what we're going to work with right now. So I did the same thing. I zoomed in about 55 millimeter of focal length and I snapped this shot. Now there is a bit of reflection on the hood and the windshield. And I had a CPL filter that was taking care of the right side of the car or the left side of the car. And uh, however, I'm left with the reflection over this part of the car. So I rotated the CPL filter. See, this comes in handy. And I snapped another shot. Now, however, I was not using a tripod, so the car moved. Now, let me show you how I'm going to take this couple of photos and actually blend them in Photoshop or merge them. All right, I'm gonna select both photos, right click, hit it in and open as layers in Photoshop. All right, just a disclaimer before I start editing this photo, I decided today that I'm going to try the Canon 1DX Mark II. And the reason why I'm heading towards that is I'm trying to get more of a video and um, photo and video, to be honest. And I kind of like the colors that Canon produces more than the Sony's and that's why I'm actually giving it a trial if I like it I'm gonna keep it if I'm not happy with it then I'm going to yeah return it back all right enough of this now let's start editing this photo and if you look closely it's not aligned and I'm going to use the one above as the base layer so I'm gonna just drag it below I'm going to select both layers and I'm going to edit and then auto line layers. 
Then I'm going to select auto from the option, click OK, and Photoshop should be able to align it perfectly. There you go. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a mask to the photo above and I'm going to mask in this area of the car, which is the windshield and the hood or whatever it's called. So let's do that. I'm going to select the layer above and I'm going to add a mask. And I'm going to look for my pen, which I found. And now I'm going to invert the layer and I'm going to select a brush and I'll drop the flow down, you know, cause it's more forgiving. Um, the best way to do this is actually to trace the car with a pen, but I'm not going to do that because it's going to take a lot of time. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do it that way. So select a brush, make sure it's a white brush and just paint it. And just paint it. Remove the smoothing because it's bothering me. All right, so let's see the before and after. So this is with one shot and this is with both combined. So it's pretty easy and straightforward. What matters is you have a CPL filter on the tripod, snap a shot, turn it around, snap another, and then merge it in Photoshop. And what I've noticed is I can also add the wheels details from from this layer because I kind of really like how it looks and also the details here but we'll just stick with the wheels let me show you how I'm just going to brush it in like so Now what I'm going to do is add a bit of details just right about here. So I'm just going to select low flow and then I'm going to just paint like so. And there you go. So let's see that again. So this is the before, now this is the after. And then of course I'll continue with my workflow. If you haven't seen my workflow, then you can look at the previous videos that I've created. It has a lot of tutorials about how I edit cars. All right, YouTube, that was straightforward. And that was it for today. It's a quick tip. Let me know if you have any tips on shooting at car shows. I'd like to hear from you. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below.